the Cal Bears. Goes long, no one there, Cal takes over. Cougars. Lasique, back to the inside. Cougar left! Ball bounces up, Cal takes over. Well, a fortuitous bounce, a knock-on goes into the hands of Cal. They gotta convert this into points. Russell Webb, Shaders Kelly outside. No one home for the Cougars, defense inside, Cal gets the try. And you see him going to work, Cal forwards. They had some success hey. grinding it out, going old school rugby at the end Here's of the first half. Great. BYU unable to keep him out. Here comes Cal again. Numbers on the outside. To the corner. And it'll be another try for Cal as Battaglia takes it across for the Bears. Perfect. Their number 12 tore a petrol muscle. BYU comes up with it. Lasique now with the ball. Gives a dummy. Great job by Nick Saliver. Just trying to take down Lasique, he does. Nice. Oh, nice, man. <laughs> nice. That's it, man. In these instances, missing the likes of Alec Gletzer, but they've worked that line up much better. Humble forward Spratling, who's come in for Gletzer, makes it available. A series just like the World Cup series. And Nick Saliber on the line out for Cal. Trying to dig into this eight point cut into that Hit deficit, chase. make life Hit easier. Chase. And there's Boyer with the ball. In and out to the inside center. Nice little rubble forward. And you guys say the substitutes have really had a positive effect for the Golden Bears. For Bay. California taking a little bit of a run quickly out to Russell Webb. Webb finding Anthony Saliber. And quickly, once again, another Saliber. That's Nick Saliber wearing the number seven jersey. As Nick Boyer looks to dig the Henson on the wing there. Good clean out there. Nick Saliber having another rumble. And already across the game Probably line. Circling the wagons around that issue. Well, Utah deep in their own territory. Oh, no. It's a great job by Nick Saliber. He's having a great game in for the injured Alex Glexer, normally the open side flanker for this Cal team. Webb marshalling in the backs. He's looking for something on here. Out the back door. Adolphus, great footwork. Oh. The flip pass, Miles Honens with room and a man yeah. and a trophy. Cal looking to keep it tight. Off the line out, driving forward. Utah Off the legs, away, still 17. not giving up. And Cal goes across again. You know, we talked about the influence of, of that coaching. And there's Hendrickson goes in once again. That's his second try on the day. Carrientes up to center. And now he'll patrol from the back, Adolphus Will. And now Utah, 10 minutes left of this match. They really want to work on. Sets it up in a rumble. Looks like Hendrickson. It lines one at the back. Webb back inside to the big man, Sullivan. He came in like a wrecking ball. The experienced senior took a shoulder injury during a training session and so Howells, really the third option for Clark at number 10. 
and I think maybe needs to shorten his kicks a little bit. Oh, oh, stolen once again, except the referee, A. Croyd, says release. the tackler did not release the ball carrier. And in those split second tackle, moments, Colin Hawley releasing. described the exchange between tackler and ball Defense is there. Boyer tries to find space on the corner once again, and he does. And that is Nick Saliber, number six. I mean, how many times have you seen Nick Boyer in the vision picking up from the base of the rock and really putting the out? Sometimes the man on the attack has the advantage in the contact area, and that's certainly the case there as we see. He said he didn't release. Nice, Nick. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Oh, that's a... Nice, Nick. Stepping onto the pitch at South Field in Provo, Utah. It's the Penn Mutual Varsity Cup Championship. Coming up next, the challenge laid down by the champs, the Haka, and then a kick for a national title. Moving it forward first, Maki takes it out of there and finds Zach Weber. They go right side with Big Joe Pakula, wearing the eight at about 275 pounds. And that's huge for this BYU team. He's really the, one of the spiritual leaders. Batted back by Tuali Ningi, and Joe Pakula loses it right at the 22, and Walsh goes off on a little rumble, getting closer as Cal. Saliber to Webb. They leave it outside, and Tapner's across! Lucas Dunn for Cal on the corner. Cal team. I tell you what, it, it's only a five-point lead, and BYU could erase that in a second. Oh. Elkington, battered, beaten, but on the move. The captain off his foot. Tapner's going to go back, can't get it. Picked up, however, by BYU. But Tapner's got to go to the ground for that ball. A great play. It ends up working. What, what? The box kick. From Maki getting under it, Honans. Honans has time. Eyes right on it. Now the step by Saliver. High tackle being played by Leah Burrard. She's playing the advantage. They look at Conrad. They get it to him. Boyer. Saliver. And Goena. Goena. Go 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 Goena. Down close. Great break by Jake Coena. And now they'll try to bulldoze it over. Penalty advantage. Penalty advantage being played. Cal wants to get it done without it. Still advantage being played. Webb. And stepping through Saliber. Big man, big opening, and a big five points.
dressing him as he takes the ball. Through, but it's Boyer, and Nick Boyer puts Cal ahead. Making them pay for them. Bush rifles it in, and away goes the ball. And Cal, ever closer. Boy, and they got a try. And the try scored. The eyes, he got somebody in his wake. Blazer comes along. That kicked a touch, and that may do it. And that it is. Cal. Cal unseats the number one team. The California Golden Bears. All time uh, legendary wins in Cal rugby. Coach, congratulations. Uh, appreciate it, yeah. Today, a different story, and he played a huge part of it. We are going to field in Provo, Utah, and the presentation being made of the Varsity Cup.